Hey everybody, this is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project. And today we have another video about how to get off the grid for $5,000 or less. Now today we're going to talk about hooking up the little device I got the other day. The Ames 24 volt, it's 12 or 24 volt um, battery charger. Now, the reason I'm doing this video here and now is because I saw a lot of questions on that in the comments and people wondering, how are you going to do this? So I also had a conversation with Ames today on the phone to make sure that the idea I have would actually work out and without harming the device. So what we have here is an image I've put together and we got some happy little grid power lines here. And that goes and it connects to the Ames battery charger. All right. And that then is connected to your batteries. Now, this is a very simplified drawing, just so you know. I simplified this very, very much. So I know there's some people going to say, where's your fuses? I got no fuses on this drawing. Well, here's your power inverter. Here's a simple little house. So the... Uh, in this system here, everything runs from the battery bank to your power inverter to your house. And this is key. This is important for the system that I am putting together. The, everything's going to run off the power inverter. All right. That way, everything goes through the battery bank, through the power inverter to the house. Now, the key important thing is keeping your batteries charged up. And to do that, we either have solar panels from the sun shining on the solar panels through your solar charge controller to your battery bank or at night we draw off the grid power through the battery charger to your battery bank now that can be a little bit complicated because if you just connect this device and this device straight up they're both going to be charging the batteries in full sunlight the sun shines on the panels through your charge controller charges your battery bank but at the same time your grid power is going to be going through the battery charger charging your battery bank and one of these two is going to kick off earlier than the other and that is why I decided to throw this video together for you and show you my plans a very very simplistic plan is my electronics controller all right we got the Sun and uh, the importance of the Sun here is we have two switches this is a switch right here and this is a switch here all right and we have the 24 volt Ames battery charger and we have our battery bank over here now if the Sun is shining this switch is off during the daytime this switch will be off this switch here is a voltage sensor uh, there's electronics going to be behind the scenes and if the vet the voltage of the batteries goes too low this one connects that means let's say there's some clouds passing by and the Sun is blocked battery starts to get drained too far from the household usage this switch turns on it's got a voltage sensor turns on connecting the Ames 24 volt 12 or 24 volt depending on your situation battery charger through and charges the battery up which is also then running your house as we saw in the previous diagram so the battery through the inverter is always running the house if we don't have Sun then this switch engages and the batteries are continued to be charged which are powering your house now nighttime comes along take the Sun out of the picture imagine the Sun is gone this switch closes down and stays engaged during the entire nighttime so that no matter what you're pulling most of the time we're sleeping so we're not going to be pulling much power at all except for the refrigerator which is on its own control so no matter what happens this device connects through here at night charging your batteries keeping it always charged while your house runs what it needs daytime comes back up the switch opens up and then your voltage is what's used to decide whether to turn this switch on or off now voltage gets to a certain low point you're pulling a lot of stuff this turns on battery charger connects to the battery running everything in your house off the grid power 
the uh, clouds go away, rain goes away, sun is shining on the solar panels again, everything's bright and happy, and this switch will open up at a certain voltage, allowing your solar panels to be doing all the work, passing straight through from the solar panels through your charge controller on into your house. Nighttime, the uh, grid power keeps your batteries maintained on through the battery bank, through the inverter to your house. Daytime, happy sun, solar panels, charges right on through, powers your house. This one is disconnected. Got some clouds or rain. We might have a little bit of switching back and forth depending on the clouds. Clouds go over, this connects. Clouds pass away, this one is, is uh, fully on. But the cool thing about the setup I'm going to have during the daytime, even if it's rainy, partly cloudy, partly sunny, whatever, your solar panels are always generating power. Your solar charge controller is always hooked up, always pumping as much as you can get from your solar panels into your battery bank all day long. Whether cloudy or not, you're taking every bit of solar power you can get and going through into your battery bank all day long. And that's important. If... It gets to be too low, the battery voltage, because there's not enough coming through here. This guy will kick in, assisting your charge controller. That's a cool thing. So I hope that's clear enough. Um, this, this device here, the battery charger, is only going to be an assistance to your solar power. So it won't be on all the time. It'll be connected and disconnected with a very simplified circuit I made here with a day-night sensor and a voltage sensor. So I hope that's clear. And that's how we're going to be running this system, a grid-assisted off-grid solar power system where we have a little bit of backup as needed from the power grid. But we hope to keep that down to a minimum anyway, but it's just nice to have that safety in place in case I'm at work and the, a storm comes up and I might have a cryptocurrency mining rig running and I don't get home in time to shut that down. I don't have to worry about damaging the batteries. So... Hope that all makes sense. Thanks for watching, guys. Troy from the Do It Yourself World and the Off Grid Project.